when you first open Motion Builder, the first thing to do is to, from the Settings menu, choose your Interaction Mode. Because Motion Builder has the facility to choose the Maya Interaction Mode. That means that the navigational aspects of Maya will be available to you in Motion Builder. So by holding down the Alt key and the left mouse button, I can tumble the scene. The middle mouse button will track the camera across the scene. And the left mouse, sorry, the right mouse button will dolly in and out of the scene or zoom. And finally, the middle mouse button will also zoom. We look along the bottom of the interface. On this side, we've got the navigator window. The navigator window shows you what components are in the scene such as the model file, the lights, any cameras. And on this side, we're looking through the asset browser window. The asset browser allows you to navigate all the assets that are available to you in your project. But it also allows you to set a, safe, a favorite path to other assets that you might want to use and bring into your project. So by selecting add favorite path and then navigating to that path, I can navigate to clip art folder that I have available on this system. So I select my clip art folder, click on OK, and then the clip art folder is available to me in the assets browser window. The other thing I'm going to do is click the story tab here. Now the story timeline really is very similar to the Adobe Premiere timeline, except we won't be dragging and dropping video clips will be dragging and dropping motion capture data onto any character that's in the scene view and has been set up to receive that data. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring a character into the scene. I'm going to select the Maya character into the scene, choose FBX open, no animation, don't save the previous scene. These little white marks at the end of the character that's the skeleton that's appearing beyond the end of the character mesh and I can switch that off by just choosing models only. If I do want to see the entire skeleton then I can select x-ray. Now this is a skeleton that's attached to this mesh it's been rigged and attached to the next bound to the mesh and I, I can now choose to add a control rig on the entire skeleton and I do that by selecting my in the character controls window and the source is going to be the control rig and I select this FKIK that's forward kinematics inverse kinematics that's the option I need and now I've got the control rig attached to the skeleton and the skeleton is bound to the mesh if I now select components parts in the rig the respective component parts are selected on the character and if I select the transform gizmo I can grab that in the scene and move the character and it will respond to its IK motion. At the moment it's locked so if I choose this icon here I can move the entire character like that. Let's now go back and choose models only and we're going to navigate to the motions for female and choose walk F. That's a basic walk cycle based on a female performer. We place it and drag it and drop it in the lower portion of the story window. The character assumes the pose on the first frame of the motion data. Now this clip is loopable meaning we can drag and tile it out to have several loops of that motion data we need to right click and choose frame start and end and then from the transport window click play we'll just move back so we can see the character walk and probably turn the scene to the side press play and there we are the character is responding to that walk cycle motion data let's bring that back like so 
So in this tutorial, we've seen how to set the navigation to my navigation in Motion Builder. Some basic um, look at the windows available, especially the navigator and the asset browser window, but also being able to set a favorite path to our own assets that we might want to use in the project. Selecting the story tab to reveal the story timeline that allows us to drag and drop motion data onto the story timeline. Now that's quite a nice arrangement for starting our project. So what we can do now is in layout, choose layout, create custom, and choose this to be the story layout. Click on OK. So when we next launch Motion Builder, the story layout will be available to us, as well as the other three out-the-box layouts, which is editing, scripting, and previewing. So if I choose editing, I get that layout. Preview, that layout, I get more of a kind of look at the character without all the additional menus. And finally, we can go back to our story layout. And there we are.